hi you guys we are back again with another tutorial today i'll be doing this razor pixie cut quick weave wig those of you who may be struggling with razor cutting and styling this will be the video for you so stay tuned to begin with i will be using a 22 inch wig making canvas block I'll protect it with my shower cap. This helps, you know, for the glue to not be on the canvas block. And also it makes it easier to remove the wig. So for this 613, I like to use a nude or blonde dome cap. And I got this from my local beauty supply store, but you can find it online. I will link the Amazon link for this um, dome cap. Anytime I'm using blonde 613, I like to use the white glue. I got this from my local beauty supply store because I haven't seen any online. I'm not sure as if, if it's not a high demand for this glue, but they only make it in the smaller bottles. So I did go through two bottles of glue. I will be using Milky Way here, the 27 piece. Honestly, you know, because I'm just doing this wig for, you know, the channel, the 613 hair, it's kind of hard to find it, but I like Milky Way, but you know, it is what it is. It's not the best quality, but I can make it work. And of course, if you've been following me on my channel for a while now, y'all know I always stretch my tracks before I apply it. This helps keep the 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 traps from being bulky and it helps you know if a person has a bigger head you can spread the tracks out more when you do it this way and also when like i said before whenever you're using a blind cap the color of the weave you can you know you have it can camouflage if there's you know any gaps in the hair For the sideburns I will be using my longer pieces which is the two inch and you can use um, any length that you want to but I like to use the two inch because you don't know how your sideburns are going to turn out so my rule of thumb is always more hair the better.
so right here I'm going to go ahead and start using my two inch this is not stretched but when you are using the one inch you see how far up you can go whenever you stretch your tracks like it makes a heck of a difference so that you don't have to use like two packs of hair but this is all I'm doing right here just applying my two inch hair and I always keep I keep it with the the curl that it comes in because it helps keep the body in the back I always go in a V and I do this because this is where I'm going to be placing my closure and the thing about it is you don't want to continue to go round and round and round because it will get bulky in that area when you get to the front you'll be using your last bundle which is your three inch make sure that you put enough space in between so that it can cover the tracks are very very thin you know i mean like i said the milky way hair the quality is okay you know but i'm just making it work for the purpose of the video To close this up i will be using the closure that came in the pack you can make your own closure if you want to most of the time i just use the closure that's in the pack because i know how to cut around it to kind of make it you know not look so noticeable For the razor cutting portion of this video, I will be leaving it in real time because I have a lot of people who struggle with cutting, razor cutting, you know, any kind of cutting. I get a lot of questions in regards to that. So you can watch me do this and I am using my single blade razor. I do not like the double blade one, but you do whatever is suitable for you. And I know it's kind of hard to find this razor, so I will add it to my site. So if you need me to ship you one, I'll add it to my site so that you can purchase.
loin. And of course I will be using my signature shears set and you can find these on my website I will be linking the information in the description box so for this look I will be doing a lot of texturizing whenever you are raising ring if you use color you will see lines in the hair but you can always anytime you want to take the lines out you can always go in with your thinning shears and soften the look I will speed it up um, in a few here because I had to do a lot of thinning and texturizing. I wanted the quick to be flat and look as natural as possible. I will be using my red by kids half inch flat iron and I'm going to put a slight bend on the end of this just to kind of give it a natural flow. The oil sheen that I'm using is the Design Essentials Diamonds Oil Sheen and I'll leave that information for you guys as well. Now you're going to remove the wig from the canvas. As you can see, if you use the, um, the plastic cap underneath, it's easier to take it off. 
but I have T pins in this, so I'm trying to find them underneath the hair. So now I'm going to try it on for the first time and this is how it looks. You have to kind of, you know, frame it to your face and, you know, just get it how you want to. But this is how it looks. I have to do a little bit of adjusting here, but I think the next time around I'll try to leave a little more hair because I think I've thinned it out a little too much, but it's still cute. Make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys.